And finally, one day, his new friends convinced him that he should go with them. And so he said, well, where are we going? Oh, across town is a neat little store over there. And okay, so he went with them, and the store was run by an old guy. And uh, they went in, and, and uh, finally, when the old guy got done with the customer who was at the counter, they walked up. He said to him, he said, can I help you boys? And the one guy, the young woman teller, reached in his pocket. And he said, yeah, he said, open up the cash register. He said, we want what's in it. And Willie said, you, you can't do that. Never mind. And the guy says, you ought to listen to your friend. Oh, he ain't no friend of ours. He, he just longed for the ride. And so the old man didn't want any trouble. So he opened up the register and he gave him the money. And the boys took out the door. And unfortunately for Willie, he didn't see a car coming. And he ran out in the street and got hit. He was taken to the local hospital. And they questioned him the best they could for the condition he was in. And he couldn't give them any information. He had no wallet on him with any identification. But he told them there was a phone number in his pocket. And so they found his phone number. And they said, is this yours? And he said, no. It was Charlie's phone number. So they called up Charlie's house. Charlie's dad answered the phone. They explained the situation to him. And he said, my son and I will be right there. And so they took off for the hospital about five blocks away. And Charlie ran in the hospital to the desk, and he was out of breath, and he tried to explain to the ladies that his friend was in the hospital. And uh, one of the doctors was standing there, and he said, you with this fellow's friend? And he said, yeah. He said, come with me. So they went in, and Willie's laying on a gurney. And of course, he's hooked up to IVs and a couple machines. And uh, the doctor said, I'll, I'll give you a few minutes. He said, we've got to get him to surgery. And so Charlie walks over and he looks at Willie and Willie opens his eyes and he said, you made it. He said, yeah. He said, well, he said, I've got a couple questions for you. And Charlie said, well, okay. He said, this Jesus that you talked about, he said, does he know what i done? And Charlie said, yes, he does. And he said, will he forgive me? And Charlie nodded yes. He said, he'll forgive you. Well, what must I do? And well, he hand was there and Charlie reached up and took his hand, which was cold and clammy. And he said, repeat after me. And he said, Lord Jesus, he said, I'm a sinner and I've done wrong. And I ask for your forgiveness. And Willie repeated them words. And then Charlie said, Willie, will you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? And Willie nods, and he says, I will accept Jesus as my Lord and Savior. The doctor came over and he said, son, he said, I got to ask you to leave. He said, we've got to get them to surgery. So they took him to surgery, and Charlie went with his dad, and they sat in the room, and they prayed. And about 45 minutes later, the doctor walked in and Charlie knew by the look on his face that the news was not good. And he walked over and he put his hands on Charlie's shoulders and the tears were starting to well up in Charlie's eyes. And the doctor said, I'm sorry to tell you, he said, your friend had lost too much blood and there was nothing more we could do. 
he's going. <clears throat> Charlie, fighting a tear, said, no, he's not. And the doctor said, yes, he said, he's not here anymore. And Charlie looked at him and he said, doctor, he said, physically, he said, I know he's not here. Spiritually, he is still here. Because he said, now he is where there's no more crying, no more tears, no more sorrow, no more pain, no more death. For all them things are passed away. Sometimes God brings people together in ways that we don't understand to help bring a change to their lives. In this case, I think God brought Willie into Charlie's life to give him a better understanding of what a Christian really was and a better way to live. For Willie, Charlie became a friend he never expected. And though that friendship didn't last a lifetime, <coughs> Charlie planted the seed that gave Willie the victory in the end. We never know what an act of kindness or a word of encouragement can do to someone. It can change their lives. Thank you. Any more prayer requests? May each and every one of you be blessed with a fantastic week ahead.